Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are at the Fisher Price Little People House with our In the Night Garden friends. Let's ring the doorbell. Who's behind the red door? Oh, it's Maka Paka, and he has his little pink sponge with him. Hi, Maka Paka. Let's explore the house today. What's upstairs in the bedroom? Oh, it's a little camera. And this isn't just any camera, it's called a Polaroid. You push the button and a picture instantly pops out of the camera. Hmm, it's not working. Let's try it again. There we go. Tiny Treasures has a camera just like this. And we took an instant photo of our pet cat in the sink. Silly kitty. And beside the camera is a record player. This is how people used to listen to music. The record would spin and a needle would lightly touch the surface of the record to play the song. One of the Tomleboos would like to go down the yellow chimney slide. Climb up, 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 Tomleboo. Make sure nobody's down there. It's clear. Whee! What's behind the big red garage door? <gasps> wow! It's full of wooden pieces. These are characters from Barba Papa, a popular book and show. These are stacking wooden pieces, and we're going to see how high we can stack them up. There's Barbara Papa, bright and pink. He can turn his body into any shape he wants. Let's put the little black bull under Barbara Papa's arm. And then we have Barbara Mama. She loves to cook. Nay, nay. The pink horse will be beside Barbara Mama. Barbara Bright is a scientist. And it looks like he's winking at us. Can you wink one eye? Or how about snapping? It took me years as a kid to learn how to snap properly. Here's a blue chicken. Maybe she's laying an egg on the horse's back. Next we have Barbara Lib. She loves to read books just like my kids. She has green glasses on. A purple fish swims through the water. I love to watch fish swim in an aquarium. I find it very relaxing. Meet Barbara Lala. She loves music and loves to play instruments. And this is the dog Lolita. She's white with black spots. What breed of dog do you think she is? Maybe a Dalmatian. Look out, a bird flying up ahead. Or is it a bat? I'm not quite sure. It has a long nose and it's bright yellow in color. And I'm going to introduce another yellow character. Her name is Barba Zoo. And she loves to protect nature and animals just like we do. She's holding a white cat. Did you know that holding and petting a cat actually decreases stress? I love to snuggle kitty and she loves to sit on my lap. Now it's time to stack our green snail. We get many snails in our yard in springtime. Do you remember when we had all of those snails in the Ninky Nong train? That was a fun video. We only have four pieces left to stack. We're almost finished. 
<laughs> Next, we are going to stack our orange sheep. And she's wearing glasses. Animals don't wear glasses. Everyone meet Barba Bo. He's an artist and loves to draw and paint. What does his face tell you? He looks mad, doesn't he? We can tell a lot by how a person feels looking at their face. Wonder what's made him so upset. Barbara Bell loves to wear jewelry. She has a pretty pearl necklace on today. And that leaves us with, oops! Oh, there we go, that was close. We only have one piece left. And this is Barbara Bravo. He loves sports and he stays active. It's important to make sure we move every day and do something active. It makes us feel happier and healthier. And there we are. We managed to stack every character without it coming crashing down. Did you count how many pieces I stacked? Oh, the Tombly Boo is playing with our spinny toy on the house. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Who's going to play on the Peppa Pig Weebles treehouse today? It's Peppa and Zoe Zebra on the red car. And they have many friends that are going to play with them today. Who's going to arrive next? On the Leapfrog Phonics School Bus. It's three of the Weebles Teletubbies toys. Three more friends are arriving on the blue Fisher Price van. Big Bird, Cookie Monster, and Elmo. Oh, this van has many seats. Who's inside? It's some of the Paw Patrol friends. See Marshall, Chase, Sky, Rubble. And who's this? Now that everyone has arrived, it's playtime. They go down the slide, swing on the swing, and go round and round on the merry-go-round. And everyone takes turns. Okay, Tiny fans, we still need your help. Build subscribers so that we can continue to grow our channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you have already, a big thank you. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today Peppa and her family are visiting a garden. Peppa is sitting on the red flower. She's wearing a red dress. Daddy Pig and George are on the blue flower. And Mommy Pig is wearing orange. She's on the orange flower. Mommy, Daddy, look at this cute little tree. It has needles instead of leaves. Let's go over here, Peppa, past the red chairs. I see a pile of beautiful rocks. 
Mummy, would it be safe enough for me to climb one of those rocks? Um, I guess so, Peppa. You just be careful and do not climb up too high. Okay, Mummy. I'll be very careful. Hey, look at me. I can slide down. Look over here. It's another sculpture. Uh-oh, Mummy, look. A bird has plopped on the sculpture's head. Oh, dear. The rain will wash it away. Oh, I see one more sculpture. It looks like a fairy. She's sleeping in the garden. Look at her beautiful wings. It's starting to get windy, Mummy. Well, it doesn't seem to be bothering these bees on the white flowers, does it, Peppa? They're all over. Collecting pollen. I see ants too, Mummy. Where are the boys? Let's go back to the tea house and look for them. Oh, George, Daddy Pig. Hello, we're up here, Mummy Pig. Ooh, let's go for a little ride, George. Oh, no, it's stuck. It's supposed to spin. Oh, there we go. I'm on the pink circle, and George, you're on the orange circle. I think the wind is getting stronger. We better go inside. Yes, I agree. The wind blew me over. Look at all the trees and bushes. Let's get inside where it is safe. Let's turn on the fire. And I'm going to play the piano. And it's getting mighty windy for me, Tiny fans, so it's time to go inside. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our squishy, wiggly figures, and we found this cute little cabin at the secondhand store. It just reminds me of a cozy cabin in a wintry Christmas scene. Behind the cabin is Mr. Bear, and it looks like he's enjoying some honey from a beehive. I think he even has a little bee on his ear. On the other side of the cabin lives Mr. Turtle and he likes to hide under the grass and he pops his head out once in a while. The Wiggles know it's important time of year. Their cabin is quite empty inside and it's time to decorate. Let's decorate for Christmas. Anthony is standing in our nativity scene. There are the three wise men with their gifts for the baby. And there is Mary holding baby Jesus and the shepherdess who has the sheep and lambs. Simon loves to put together the train tracks for the Christmas train. There's a picture of Santa skiing with a reindeer and the back is called the caboose. This looks like a passenger part of the train where people can sit. What's the sound a train makes? Choo choo, chugga 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 chugga. Choo choo. Even the little light is working on our toy train. Emma loves to bake in the kitchen at Christmas time. This year we made sugar cookies with melted candies in the middle to make it look like stained glass. We also put holes in the cookies so that they can hang like ornaments in the tree. What a special surprise for friends. Lockie helps us decorate the tree with some of our favorite ornaments. I see Mickey and Minnie and a glass jar full of pretend candy. And here's a Santa Claus very sparkly. 
All right, tiny fans, it's December 7th. Time to open another door in our chocolate advent calendar. There's number seven. Oh, let's hold Simon so he doesn't fall over. It's another little green pack. Oh, sorry, Simon. A green, shiny package. Let's see what the shape is this time. Put Simon over there. Oh, it's something different. Let's see, what does it say? After 8 Street, London. It's a street sign, I think. Mmm, looks really tasty. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you. Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger is going to give us a tour of his house. This is the front door. Follow me inside. This is the living room. You see it right when you walk in. There's a carpet and a phone. As well as a, pa a place for us to sit. And over here is the kitchen. We've got the sink and this is our fridge. Mom just went shopping so it's pretty full. And you can follow me over here into the playroom. This is me and my sister's playroom. There are some toys on the floor. Huh? Of course, Mom. Sure. I've got to clean them up after I'm done giving this tour. <laughs> and we have some stickers on the wall. And this is my toy box. Well, me and my sister's. Baby Margaret's, too. And then here's our carpet. I love this carpet. And then over here, follow me to the laundry room. Oh, hi, Dad. What you doing? Just doing some laundry. What you up to? I'm giving them the tour of our house. Oh, well, hello. And welcome to the tour of our house. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just doing some laundry. Okay, so this is our laundry room, and this is my dad. And here we've got a pile of clothes and a basket, and... This is, oh, it's full. <laughs> Oops. Bye, Dad. Bye, son. All right, now let's go upstairs to the computer room. This is the computer room. Well, we call it the computer room, but it's also the drawing room because me and baby Margaret like to draw a lot. It's very fun and relaxing. This is the computer. Sometimes mom and dad do work on it. <laughs> and if you come over here, I'll show you baby Margaret's bedroom. Well, and mine. This is baby Margaret's bed. She's got some toys in it. And then this thing, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's pretty cool. And then if you go over here, this is where my bed is supposed to be, but my old bed kind of broke a bit, so we had to sell it, and now we're ordering me a new one. And this is just a carpet. And this is my desk with my alarm clock, a hairbrush, a mirror, and a ticket to the amusement park we went to last Saturday. Alright, come over here. This is the bathroom. So this is the toilet, I think you guys know that, and toilet paper, the sink, we 
we have really interesting carpets in our house, in case you want. And then the bathtub. So, that's pretty much it. Let's go down into the kitchen and see what my mom's making for dinner. Hey mom, I'm just wondering, what are we having for dinner? Oh, that's strange you asked. I was just about to go and ask you about that, actually. What are you going to ask me? Well, since we had quite the big healthy lunch today, and I'm quite full, are you still hungry? Nope. Well, we should run this by your dad and your sister, but since I'm not hungry and you're not hungry, and if they're not hungry, then maybe we don't need to have a dinner. We can just grab a quick snack, like maybe a couple oranges, and then I was planning for us to cook an ice cream. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm going to go ask dad and baby Margaret if that's okay. All right, just tell them what we think and see if they're up for it, too. Okay. Dad, Dad, finish the laundry, finish the laundry. Dad, Dad, whoa, 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 Daniel, what's wrong? Nothing. Well, <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, Mom said that since we had a really big healthy lunch today, why don't we just have a couple oranges or healthy food and then we can go to the ice cream shop. Or the cupcake shop. I'm not sure what she said, but either one of those. That sounds like a great idea to me. I'm not that hungry either. I'm sure your sister will be fine with this. Great. Mom! Mom! He said yes! He said yes! All right, Daniel, that's wonderful. Now, everyone, let's get in the car. Yay! Do you guys want to come to the ice cream shop with me? Come on! Everyone buckled up? Yep. Yes, Mom. We sure are, honey. All right, then. Let's go. Beep, beep. We're here. Do you know what you want to order, Daniel? Hmm. I'm not sure yet. Oh, hello. Can I help you guys? Actually, yes. We'd like to order some cupcakes, please. Of course. What flavors? Hmm. What kinds do you guys want? I'm pretty sure there's chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and that's it. Well, there's probably many more flavors, but those are the basic ones. I think I'll just go with some vanilla. Me too. I'm up for strawberry. How about you, Daniel? Strawberry it is. All right, two vanillas and two strawberries. <clears throat> Have you decided? Yes, we have. Thank you very much. Oh, and before we order, are you Bluey's mother? Yes, I am. Oh, well, so good to see you. So good to see you, too. Anyways, back to the cupcakes. Um, we're going to take two vanilla and two strawberry. Oh, splendid. Strawberry is my favorite flavor. Oh, me too. All right, your order will be ready at the other window. Thank you. Two vanilla? Ready. And we can't forget the two strawberry. Oh, yes, that's, that's me. Mmm, these are delicious. They certainly are. Best cupcakes I ever had. Yummy! And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye! Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are outdoors today with Daniel Tiger and his family. And they are hanging out at our mushroom fairy house. I absolutely love this little fabric house. It's made of soft felt and there's pink embroidered flowers at the top. This is from Heart Song and it even comes with little fairies and shiny wings. What are we going to explore in the outdoors? doors today little miss fairy oh she wants us to open the little yellow door what's inside oh do you know what these are they're soft silver and furry they're called pussy willows oops I knocked the toys over there you go baby Margaret we also found a chestnut inside the mushroom house. Chestnuts fall off the tree onto the ground in fall time. And I found these in my jacket pocket as I was going to come outside to film. 
we won't be finding any of these on the ground since it's springtime. <gasps> but maybe we can find some pussy willows. We have a giant pussy willow tree in our yard. Let's go find it, Daniel Tiger. I can see all of the pussy willows way up high. Let's see if I can grab a branch and we can see them up close. Oh, they are so soft. And they get their name Pussy Willows because another name for a cat can be a pussy cat. And these resemble tiny cat's paws. So that's how they get their name. And these are actually going to turn into flowers. They get their soft furry coating of hair so they can insulate the early blooms from cold temperatures. Are you seeing this little bug that's climbing on the pussy willow? I wonder where he's going. Speaking of bugs and insects, once these pussy willows bloom, the bees come out. And I've cut a few branches, only a few because I like to leave them for the bees, and I put them in a vase. And they keep very well, they don't even need water. And I have some medium sized pussy willows. And then if you look at the larger ones, you can see the yellow blooms starting to pop out. Look at how big these ones are. They turn bright yellow in color. Thanks for learning with us today and thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hola and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Dora and Boots are trick-or-treating. Dora is a princess and Boots is a knight. They have their little trick-or-treat bag that says, Be happy! Dora and Boots know to stay on well-lit streets when they trick-or-treat. Here they are at the first door. Trick or treat! Oh, the first house is Kermit, Fozzie, and Miss Piggy. They give Dora and Boots a Snickers chocolate bar, but Boots knows it has peanuts in it and he's allergic to peanuts, so he gives it to Dora. Gracias! Happy Halloween! Dora takes the Snickers bar and puts it into her bag. Goodbye. Have a good night. They're at the next house. Let's ring the doorbell, Boots. Trick or treat. Oh, it's Marshall and Chase from Paw Patrol. They give Dora and Boots a ginger candy. Oh, ooh, I love ginger, says Dora. It can be a bit spicy. But when I have a tummy ache, it makes my tummy feel better. Happy Halloween! Thank you! The next house has a bright blue door with a number one on it. Let's ring the doorbell. Door and Boots see a cat wandering around outside of the house. Hmm. Oh, trick or treat! It's the Teletubbies. And Dipsy and Lala are at the door. They give Boots and Dora some great Pez candy. One of Boots' favorites. Thank you. Happy Halloween. The last house has a bright red door. Trick or treat. It's Timon and Pumbaa from the Lion King. They have a Twix bar for Dora and Boots. Mmm, thank you and happy Halloween. Dora knows it's always important to use good manners. That's why she always says thank you when she receives her candy on Halloween. Good job, Dora. I hope you have a safe and fun Halloween. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.